Hi guys, welcome back to Learn with Med Nuggets. In today's video, we are going to talk about vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is a water-soluble vitamin that is crucial for many bodily functions. Vitamin C is found in things that you don't like to eat, like vegetables and citrus fruits. So why does our body need vitamin C? Vitamin C plays a crucial role in iron absorption by converting ferric iron into ferrous iron, a more soluble form that the body can absorb efficiently. Since vitamin C helps in the absorption of iron, there are a few clinical pearls that you need to remember. Number 1. Vitamin C can be used in the treatment of methemoglobinemia. Hemoglobin is the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen, and it contains iron. Normal hemoglobin, which is the deoxyhemoglobin, has iron in the ferrous state, allowing it to bind oxygen effectively. You can remember this as Fe2 binds O2. When hemoglobin is oxidized, the Fe2 plus converts to the Fe3 plus state, leading to the formation of methemoglobin. Now, what's the deal with methemoglobin? It cannot bind oxygen, which can result in reduced oxygen delivery to tissues. Since vitamin C is a reducing agent, it can help convert Fe3 plus back to Fe2 plus, thus facilitating the reduction of methemoglobin back to functional hemoglobin. Therefore, it can be used to treat mild cases of methemoglobinemia. Number two. Vitamin C should be avoided in thalassemia patients as these patients receive frequent blood transfusions which may lead to iron overload, also known as secondary hemochromatosis. And how can frequent blood transfusions cause iron overload? Because blood is basically iron. So if you go and give vitamin C to these patients, it's going to further increase iron absorption and worsen secondary hemochromatosis. The next function of vitamin C is it plays a key role in hydroxylase enzymes. Prolyl and lysyl hydroxylase enzymes catalyze the hydroxylation of proline and lysine residues into collagen molecules. These two enzymes require vitamin C as a cofactor, which is why vitamin C creams can help boost collagen production in the skin and reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Vitamin C also helps in catecholamine synthesis by converting dopamine to noepinephrine with the help of the enzyme dopamine beta-hydroxylase. Dopamine beta-hydroxylase requires vitamin C as a cofactor. Vitamin C can also boost our immune system and act as a potent antioxidant protecting cells from oxidative stress and free radical damage. With that strong foundation, now let's move on to vitamin C deficiency. So what are the causes of vitamin C deficiency? Vitamin C deficiency can be caused by malnutrition. If you don't eat your fruits and veggies, you can develop vitamin C deficiency. So this is common in malnourished people like alcoholics, homeless people and in elderly people. Infants on formula that is boiled for too long can also develop vitamin C deficiency as excessive heat destroys vitamin C. Cigarette smoking can also deplete our body's vitamin C level. The combination of oxidative stress from cigarette smoking and low vitamin C levels can accelerate the aging process, which is why women who smoke look older than their age. It's a double killer. So now let's move on to the clinical features of vitamin C deficiency. Number 1. Impaired collagen synthesis can weaken vascular beds and thereby cause subperiosteal hemorrhages, heme arthrosis, swollen, painful gums, bruising, petechiae and perifollicular hemorrhages, and corkscrew hair. Make sure to remember subperiosteal hemorrhages petechiae and corkscrew hair as exams love to go after these rare points. 
Even my next door neighbor knows that vitamin C deficiency causes curvy guys, so you better know these rare points. Vitamin C deficiency can also cause poor wound healing for the same reason, as in because of the impaired collagen production. It can also weaken the immune system and cause anemia due to combined iron and folate deficiency. So how do you treat vitamin C deficiency? Obviously, by supplementing it. Not just too little, but even too much vitamin C can be toxic. Excess vitamin C can cause a bunch of GI symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal bloating, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and it can also increase the risk of iron toxicity in patients who require frequent blood transfusions like thalassemia patients and in patients with hemochromatosis where there's already an iron overload. So this brings us to the end of today's video. If you like our content, please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for tuning in with us today. Have an amazing day.